Hi, this is Dr. Mark Vance here, and today I have something that was too good to not share. There's some things out there that are too good to share. This is too good to not share. I'm here at the Doubletree in uh, Hilton in uh, Houston, Texas. We just got done with the Jonathan Sprinkle Seminar. Highly recommended. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, on Sunday, before the lectures, we had an inter interdenominational church service, if you will. We went through the 23rd Psalms. It was absolutely fantastic. Jonathan was leading the discussion. At the end, he asked the question, what is it that you need to give up? People gave all sorts of answers, give up my pride, give up my selfishness, give up my fears. The answer that came to my mind was crutches. I could hear the word crutches in my mind. I'm like, what is that? What is crutches? And then I thought about it. I thought, you know, you break your leg. Come, people come to the ER. I go see it work in the ER all the time. They come to the ER. We put some, a splint on there, and then we send them home with crutches. After a few days, they can get a cast. There comes a time in the healing as things get better and better where you need to put weight on it, you need to bear weight on it, and then you need, after a while, to get rid of the crutches. If you don't, you're never going to walk normally. At first it may hurt, it may be uncomfortable, but you need to get rid of the crutches. And I was thinking, you know, when I was on my mission in Montreal, there's a huge cathedral there, just St. Joseph's Auditorium. And at this place, uh, it, it was named after a guy named St. Joseph, of course, who was a monk, and he lived on this little hill just outside Montreal at the time. It's massively inside Montreal now. But people would walk up this hill. They would climb up this hill to see this little old monk, and they'd be healed. He had this little shack that he lived in, and right next to it's another little tiny room where there's a um, building where there's this room where just one whole wall is covered, filled with nothing but crutches. People would hobble up the hill or be carried up the hill and then walk home on their own two feet. Absolutely astounding. Um, and I thought about, you know, in our lives, we have crutches. Things that, when things are stressful, we just got to do it. I just got to have that <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cup. That's one of mine. Um, I got to have uh, that smoke. I got to say that cuss word. I got to have that drink. I just, I just got to. And uh, there comes a point in our lives where, you know, initially that seems to work pretty good, calm our stress down. But after a while, it tends to impede our growth. And we just have to give up our crutches. How do we do it when we're just uh, inside? How do we do that? Well, the answer is the same as it was for the folks in Montreal. St. Joseph's not around anymore, but you go the same place he did. You go to God. You give that to God. You say, God, I, I can't deal it anymore. Take it, please. They talk about religion being the ultimate crutch, and they say that derisively, but I think it's probably true in a good way. Don't rely on other things. Turn to God. Rely on Him. He can handle it. He's powerful. He can do it. He has no problem. Now, I know there's people that you know that need to hear this. Please share it with them. In the meantime, this is Dr. Vance signing off here, saying, just because you haven't found a cure, doesn't mean there isn't one.